it is my week 26 update. I think the last time we talked was, I think it was 22 weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a month-long update. I am officially 26 weeks and two days today as we speak, which is Tuesday. The baby is measuring anywhere from two to two and a half pounds and nine plus inches long from head to rump. And my baby's eyes are opening and I'm being karate kicked. So let's move in to week 26. So baby movements. Now, I think I may have went over this in, in the last video, so I apologize for any repetition. And also the light is natural, so the clouds are going in and out. Um, when it comes to his movements, he's been super, super active. And over the last, between 24 weeks and 26 weeks, it's been real night and day. He's just been really super active and really practicing and really getting bigger. You can just feel him. I can feel him getting bigger. And it's been awesome. I try to really embrace the moments that he is moving, talk to him. Um, before, when I was 20 weeks and just starting to feel the uh, kicks. Sorry, I'm the only one in the office, so. Um, when I was, you know, 20, 22 weeks, it was, it was defined. I could feel them, but they weren't repetitious. And they were real random. And if I touched my belly, he would stop. And if I tried to pull up my shirt, he would stop. And if I moved, he would stop. Now, not anymore. He responds to movement with my hands. He responds to his voice. He responds to rubbing uh, my belly in a loving way. And I'm just trying to give him all the positive, loving energy that I possibly can. So when it comes to his movements, I really am trying to express gratitude and love towards him. And uh, now if I shake my stomach, <laughs> he'll actually wake up and move or flip his hand or do something. And it's super cute. And once he put his leg up and his foot little, little protruded a little out of my uh, stomach and I grabbed it and he moved it. And it was like the most precious thing in the world. And I think that um, for a, any pregnant woman, feeling your baby is probably the most reassurance and most love and most just that moment is almost indescribable. It's it's a real special, special bonding moment between you and your unborn. So um, as far as I'm feeling, I'm feeling that sleep is getting more and more important to get a good night, a quality good night's sleep. But for me, it's kind of becoming uncomfortable in the sense that I'm still rolling over on my back. However, that's getting more uncomfortable. But I sleep on my side, but the way I lift my leg up, so if I'm laying on my side, say I'm headed over to the left-hand side, I will take my left leg and kind of hutch it over and really kind of turn myself, not fully on my belly, but partially on my belly. And when I do that, every time I get the same weird movements from him that maybe he's uncomfortable. And this is just what I'm sensing because I don't know what he's actually feeling, but it's still the same like it feels like he's kind of freaking out a little bit trying to adjust and I'm heavier and so I do worry about crushing him and and moving my uterus and I know there's like all these whatever that's just how I feel it's how I feel man it's how I feel so I'm trying to work on propping my legs up properly and starting to adjust my pillows a little bit more because sleeping has become much harder and I've noticed I've become such a light sleeper now that if I get woken up I'm up and I don't fall back asleep and um, <laughs> it's kind of a pain so I've been trying to cut back on the naps that I would take during the day I would take one nap between 3 30 to 4 30 but I'm trying to cut back on that and trying to actually get to bed an hour earlier for um, work the next morning so we're still working on that work in progress as far as daddy's concerned, daddy has been just over the last, ever since I found out I was pregnant, he's been super patient and loving and kind and supportive um, on a whole other level. My husband, he is those things, but now it's amplified. You know, don't, don't move that. Do you need to sit down? Do you need to rest? What you, what you want to eat? Can I make you something? Don't fall down. Nice and easy. Watch where you're going step by step. Um, and it's been, it's been cute and 
slightly agitating at times, if you could imagine, but it's all been, it's, it's, he's been amazing. Um, you know, it's his way of participating inside of a pregnancy since there's really not much else he can do. Um, he's been supportive in a lot of other ways and it's been really sweet to see that he talks to his baby. He puts his hand every chance he can. He talks to him every day, kisses him. Um, and it's just, he's just been really excited every day. He's been really telling me how, how excited he's getting and how, you know, how much this means to him. And it's just been really sweet to kind of hear that, especially me, who's more of emotional. He's also been extremely <clears throat> overwhelmingly responsible. Um, now my husband, for those who, who don't know, he's an extremely self-disciplined person. He's probably the most self-disciplined person in the, like that I ever met. He has never had like a day off <laughs> ever in his life. He never just sits down and watches TV to try to relax. Once in a while, he'll watch movies, but now it's amplified. He's been really trying to get a lot of things done, goals to be reached that we weren't expecting until the end of the year. Um, he's really focused now and very determined with our business. We're just been me and him both have been working really hard, but wow, he, he's the one that's been working super hard. And, um, to see that side of things, I think the difference between a guy and a girl when pregnancy happens is really interesting because I'm way more emotional and he's taking this very serious, like very serious. And it's good. And I, I'm not trying to back him down or anything because this is what he wants to do, but it's been really awesome to see him really go from being such a great provider to being like like for to go overboard and uh, it's been interesting but daddy's doing very well the rest of my family we've kind of settled down on plans which was really nice to finally kind of get them get an idea sorted out to a plan and kind of get things scheduled a little bit my mom is such a big part of my birthing plan i really want her to be my birthing partner and um so she's going to actually come, sorry, let me see if I can move this shirt down. There we go. Um, she wants to come a few days before my due date, and then she'll stay for two weeks, and hopefully he'll come. I mean, this is all based on my son and what he chooses to do, and I'm not rushing anything, but if hopefully <laughs> he'll come between those two weeks so my mom can be a part of his birth, and that's a really important part of, for her, and it's a very important part for me too. Um, <clears throat> she's my coach and my partner, and I'm very excited to have her. And I need to have her because my mom just, she, you know, your mom just kind of knows you. And then my brother and my dad are going to come June 1st, which is about eight to nine days after the baby's due date. And they just want to, you know, they don't want to crowd the house up when I'm, you know, nine months pregnant and giving birth and everything. And they want to come when the baby's after the baby's born to just really spend that time with the new addition to the family. So I'm excited to kind of <clears throat> tear it off that way. And then also there's um, <clears throat> a very big party that's planned on the seventh day after your child's born to give them the name. There's a party. And um, so we're trying to work out those details and kind of, you know, just think about ideas and things like that because I'll be out of commission. And that's another thing I wanted to mention is I told my family I was out of commission. I, now, my family, when they anybody that's been over to my house knows that I really love to take good care of you and to, you know, make sure that you your every want is met and you have everything that you need plus more and that we, you know, things are planned and we're having a good time. And just the ambiance and the hospitality of my home, I'm really proud of. So I let them know that that was not going to be the case, that this was no walk in the park or picnic. And um, if they thought it was a vacation, please think again. And of course, my family's been super supportive. My husband will be home. And um, so just to kind of give them, you know, the, the kind of like the, the groundwork that, you know, this is not time if I need to be alone, if I need to be alone with my, my, my son that, you know, I'm, I will and I will do everything in my power to... Uh, benefit him and I'm not going to be worried about anybody else but everybody's on the same page and they're more than um, happy to oblige and help um, <clears throat> I have my 24 week midwife appointment and my weight at that time so it's been two weeks so I, I can't really I'm not sure was eight pounds so I'm up eight pounds and uh, that was at six months so no was it I think so 
So not, I mean, it wasn't a tremendous weight gain. I think we're both really happy about the way that it's kind of happening. And she doesn't really put a lot of emphasis on what's proper, what's not proper. I was overweight to begin with getting pregnant and I didn't eat the first trimester. So um, it wasn't like, um, you know, eight pounds is, is fine. And um, we talked about the glucose test that's coming up on my 28 week. Um, that'll be March and so I have to just get checked for gestational diabetes. And um, baby was measuring 25 centimeters at 25 weeks. And he was measuring good. His heartbeat, she could hear it through a stethoscope. I could not hear it through a stethoscope. But um, it's hard for me to focus, I guess, when I'm too excited. So we ended up listening and listening to it at a, on a Doppler. And it was between 145 and 150. So... Um, yeah, everything's going really well. I'm doing really well. Bending over is getting slightly challenging. My um, belly has definitely protruded a lot more over the last, I would say, week or so more than it ever has before. And that's been really, really fun. I feel pregnant and I feel like I walk different. And I feel like I run into things with my belly a little bit more. Not intentionally, like the, the sink to the bathroom I'll get up to wash my hands and I'm like, oh, I can't go this far. I have to back up a little bit. So it's been interesting. Or the steering wheel, sometimes that's funny. Um, and other than that, yeah, things are just going great. Just going to work on a few things, especially for sleeping and try to figure something out. But um, the last thing I wanted to share is what I received from family members. So I actually have a package today, but I have no idea what it is. And I received a diaper genie. And 480 wipes. So, again, these are just things my family members are sending me randomly. Um, I would never have thought to buy a diaper genie, which is kind of why I'm happy the person that bought me this. I'm kind of happy that they did because I would never thought to buy that. I not in a million gazillion years when I ever think to buy a diaper genie. So it's nice to have things that um, you just don't think about buying for yourself that aren't necessarily a necessity. They're actually like a, an additional thing that you can enjoy. And the wipes were awesome because they're really um, unscented and they only have aloe in them. And um,